In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 2 from experience 13. You are conducting a multinomial goodness of fit hypothesis test for the claim that the four categories occur with the following frequencies. Complete the table. Report all answers accurate to three decimal places. So we want to start by finding the total of the observed frequencies. And we want the total of the expected frequencies to match this. So we'll take this total and multiply it with the probabilities given to find the expected frequencies. So for category A, we multiply by 0.5. And for category B, multiply by 0.1. That also works for category C. And lastly, for category D, multiply by 0.3. And put these in. All right. Now we go to put this in a table. We hit stat, edit, and put the And in L1, we'll put the observed frequencies. In L2, we'll put the expected frequencies. And we go to stat, tests, and down towards the bottom is the chi-squared goodness of fit test the observed are in L1, the expected in L2. Uh, the degrees of freedom is actually 3 for this problem. Again, the number of categories minus 1 and it calculate. So the top line will be our chi-squared test statistic that is three decimal places it says, 3.922. The p-value is the next one there and that's to two three decimal places is 0.270. Now if alpha is 0.01, then the p-value is clearly greater than alpha, so we would fail to reject the null. Alright, doing this on Excel, we would copy and then paste, remember to uh, do a special paste to match the destination formatting. And then let's get the sum of these observed frequencies and then just take the 73, let's just write it in, and put in the probabilities. So 0 0.5, 3 times 0 0.1, 73 times 0.1, 73 times 0.3. All right, then we make a third column where we calculate the observed minus the expected and in parentheses and we square that and then divide by the expected. All right, and we will copy and paste that down. And the sum of this third column is the test statistic and then we use the chi-square distribution built in with three degrees of freedom to find the p-value and we get the same results.